welcome back to our Onset Studio Vlogs. We've had a lot of changes since we last spoke. You can see quite a few of them behind me. We've got the instruments in, the band in, the lighting's been finalised and we've even got a, an enormous television over here. Damn, I want one of those. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be talking to you today about the cameras that we've set up today uh, and specifically how they've been set up for studio filming, so follow me. This is the Sony PMW500 HD camera. Um, we've used it in a couple of our blogs before, but underneath all of the gubbins and everything that we've got here, that's the base camera that you'd use on things like documentaries. But how specifically has this been set up for studio filming? Let's take a closer look. First of all, if you come around here, we've got a couple of different things going on. We've got a, a big monitor up here, and this is showing what this camera is recording. The second monitor we've got here, is showing what the director and the, and the gallery are cutting to, so what the audience is seeing. If this is a live broadcast, that's what's going to go out on television. All that means is that when the, the operator's using the camera, they know, you know whether they're safe to reposition the camera, maybe zoom in, check a focus, or whatever. It gives them a bit of flexibility. Because this camera is currently uh, being used, which is indicated by this red light here, that's why it's on both monitors, but we'll go to another camera in a second and show you how it will be different. And if you want to just pop down here, you can see some of the different controls that we've got. And this one here is the zoom. We've got a sensitive rocker here, look, so that we can use one hand to do the zoom. We can vary the zoom using this knob here. I'm zooming in, there you are, zooming in, and I'm zooming out. So as it's a different uh, discipline altogether, uh, these controls offer kind of convenience and flexibility for a studio camera operator. We've also got another control here. This is the focus control. So using the right hand we can focus and using the left hand we can zoom. So if I zoom right in here, do you want to have a quick look at the screen again? I'm controlling the focus so I can get it in focus like that. Very nice. Zoom out and I'm all set to go for the drummer, which is cool. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a nice little clipboard here. So we can put all the different uh, direction, all the different camera setups so the operator can see what they're doing, flick through them all. Very cool. I mentioned the red light before. If you come around the front, there's another red light. Uh, the red light on the front of the lens is kind of an indication for the presenters really just to know which camera's live so they know where to look. Now it's on this cool crazy looking contraption and this is what's known as a rolling spider. It's basically a rolling tripod, put simply. Uh, it's not tracking, it's not like a dolly or anything like that. Um, and it's not a pedestal either. This is used primarily just for relocating the camera. You can use it for you know a bit of tracking if you want to. Uh, but mainly, as we're in studio and we've got flat floors, we can wheel the camera wherever we want it. I'm just going to come over here, look, reset and carry on. And it's really quick and easy, so you don't have to pull the camera up and shift it like you would if you were out in the field. So that's cool. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk to you about on these cameras, but let's just nip over here and have a look at some of the others. Let's go. This is a, another camera, exactly the same setup. This has just got a different monitor layout. And now, as you can see, that's back on camera one, which we were on a second ago. So that's showing camera one, and this is showing what, the, uh, what this camera is actually recording. And then there's a final one over here as well. If, if you look at the floor, we've got these cables here, because this is gonna be cut live, and this is gonna go straight to the gallery. We've got cables running straight from the cameras uh, all the way up to the gallery. And this is the final camera here. We've got a cool ramp that's been built, brilliant. Uh, and it's the same setup again. So we've got three cameras here today. So it's been a bit quick, uh, we don't have much time, but hopefully I've just been able to show you a couple of different features for a studio camera and how it's all set up. Quite cool really, you know, it's all big monitors and cool remote controls and stuff. But yeah, that's all we've got time for now. Uh, join us again for another blog. Oh my god, we've got a plant. We've got a plant for the corner of the studio. We're going to be going up to the gallery and taking a look at the layout there as well. So uh, look forward to that one and we'll see you soon.